Well, good day and welcome to Illinois Corn TV, where you can receive agriculture news, videos, feature stories, and much more by simply clicking the subscribe button and liking us on Facebook. This week, we will get to look at the big video that was launched over the weekend. We will learn about a prestigious award on the horizon. We have some really good news for Illinois corn farmers from the U.S. Grains Council. Enter the Year of the Farmer campaign. It began last Sunday night. People in Illinois won't be able to miss this important fact. 96% of Illinois farms are family owned and operated. Here's more. There's this wide variety of perceptions when you talk about farm families and just because there's big equipment or technology involved doesn't make it a corporation. It means that over time we've, we've evolved. And families are big too. So, you know, if you're gonna welcome your kids back to the farm, you, you've gotta figure out how to make room for everybody as well and grow. So it can appear like a massive operation that, you know, seems like maybe it's a corporate farm, but actually it is a family farm and it's a family run business who's done a really good job investing in their business and growing it for their family. We've always assumed that consumers trust us. We have the, arguably the safest, most abundant, most affordable food supply in the world. The concern if we don't receive trust from our consumers, we won't be able to sell our products. If we're not able to sell our products, then we're not able to be profitable. If we are not profitable, we're not gonna be able to pass this farm on to the next generation. I think it's important as farm families to participate in programs like this because at the end of the day, people connect with people. It puts faces to the topics we're talking about. It's that human connection that is so important that has a greater impact in those conversations. You build trust with the consumer when you show them and you explain to them, this is why we do this. If we don't communicate this message, we're going to be handed down more regulations restricting how we're gonna grow food. If it's gonna make food more expensive, it's gonna make it less attractive for family members to wanna to come back to the farm. So my hope is if we can get our message across to the consumer and they see how we're raising their food, that they're gonna trust us to do what's right. The video was released over the weekend during a really big football game. Well, a prestigious award program celebrating voluntary conservation on farmland and forest land is coming to Illinois. It's the Leopold Conservation Award, and it recognizes agriculture landowners who inspire others with their dedication to ethical land, water, and wildlife habitat management. The award is named in honor of renowned conservationist Aldo Leopold. In his influential 1949 book, A Sand County Almanac, Leopold called for an ethical relationship between people and the land they own and manage. Sand County Foundation and national sponsor American Farmland Trust annually present the Leopold Conservation Award to farmers, ranchers, and forest land owners in 25 states for extraordinary achievement in voluntary conservation. In Illinois, the award is presented with state partners, Illinois Corn and Illinois Soybean Association. Applications will be reviewed by an independent panel of agriculture and conservation leaders. The application deadline is April 1st. The recipient receives $10,000 and their conservation success story will be featured in a video and in other outreach sources. The recipient will be announced this summer. So last week, we learned about the Brazilian crop, but what we didn't talk about was the value of the U.S. corn crop. Here's more with Kurt Schultz with the U.S. Grains Council. We found that uh, U.S. corn outperforms other origins, Argentinian, Brazilian, Ukrainian, even Indian corn in the, in the total yield of starch for the industrial starch industry. And it's so significant that it, it translates into millions of dollars of additional revenue if they use the same volume but it's only U.S. corn rather than other origins. And this is a study that's been going on for three years. Uh, we started out going 
to our customer warehouses overseas and sampling from their warehouses so they can't claim that we're using corn from someplace else. It's actually from our existing customer warehouses, brought them back to the University of Illinois and did a starch processing uh, in the laboratory there and found that the results were, for three years in a row, very uh, significantly different. And the res now we're in the process of actually taking these results out and, and, and uh, distributing them worldwide to our customers. It's really exciting because it really shows uh, the advantages of why they should be buying U.S. corn and not other origin. Thank you for tuning in this week to Illinois Corn TV. Have a wonderful week.